the Babington New World Federation Grand Prix Series. And of course, this Emirates Arena, the home of the Commonwealth Games earlier this year. And this event promises to be bigger and better than last year's inaugural competition. I'm, of course, Mark Phelan. I'm with you here today, tomorrow and Friday. And looking forward to your company here. And during the course of the day's play, we'll have uh, some guest commentators joining us. We'll have Ray Stevens and Dan Travers, to name but a few, two uh, well-known coaches and respected Babington people. Looking forward to having them beside me. And of course, don't forget, if you want to contact us, use the hashtag on Twitter, SOGP, and uh, we'll be delighted to read your comments. Take your questions and answer them the best we can, of course. So don't forget, use that hashtag, SOGP, to get in contact with us here directly at the Scottish Open Grand Prix. Action starts in just a few minutes. And as we said, the first match on court will be that men's singles. Kukal, of course, Peter Kukal, represented the Czech Republic at the London Olympics, the last man to get in. He got in on the very, very last qualification day. And uh, looking to find some form, Kukal. Struggling just outside the world's top 75 at the moment. Of course, we'll be joining the live play just a few minutes' time. Kukal, world ranked 71 against Daniel Font, world ranked 193. Of course, Kukal will be favoured, but Daniel Font, one of the young rising stars of Welsh Babington and uh, making the short trip up north to take part in this Scottish Open Grand Prix hosted by Badminton Scotland as you can see on screen and of course lots of action going on around the tournament here, a festival of badminton lots of off court activities for the children and uh, The court officials just come into court for this first match between Kukal and Font. These players, of course, never met before. And Kukal was here last year and got a very early scare in qualification. Had a hard battle, if I remember correctly, against the Irishman in the opening round. Had to battle through three games and uh, just suffering with a loss of form in the last 12 months, Kukal. So really looking to regain some form and get a run of games, something that's very important in Bampton. Wins, breathe, confidence, and uh, Kukal is certainly a confidence player. At 71 in the world, Kukal's best result to date was a quarter final in the Brazil Grand Prix, same level as this Scottish Open, of course, uh, held during the summer. But then a host of last 16 appearances and a disappointing last 16 exit in his home, RSL Czech International in September. So it's been... Uh, it's been 18 months since Kuka last appeared in a semi-final and he'll certainly want to rectify that. Oh, 
Daniel Font, the Welshman, very much like Kukal, best result in the last 12 months, came in the Riga International and that event, an international series event, so uh, two steps below this Grand Prix, you have Grand Prix of course, above Grand Prix you have Super Series and Premier Super Series and then the elite tournaments like Worlds and Olympic Games and sitting below Grand Prix you have International Challenge international series just below that and future series the entry level tournament on the circuit and Font's best result came at an international series event that Riga International a last eight appearance for him Estonian international likewise a series event getting to the last 16 and in some of the majors Beaten in the first round here at the Scottish Open in 2013. In his own Welsh international going out in the first round. So really a battle between two players suffering with a lack of confidence at the moment. But a pair of players who certainly have the skills and the mental capabilities to uh, bounce back from uh, a poor run. Kukal, of course, who had that traumatic operation for cancer in 2011, almost scuppered his qualification for the London Olympics and really struggled in his preparation for London. Battle back from cancer to grab that final spot on the very last day of qualification for the London Olympics. So one thing we know about Peter Kukal, he's a fighter. And badminton certainly his life. So both players finished the warm-up. Some pre-match routines, Kukal has this uh, routine where he always bends and reties his laces. And sure to be a tense opening to this match. No head-to-head -head information. Of course, these players never played each other. So uh, expect the opening salvos up to the mid-game interval to be very tense. Kukal, before that cancer scare, you know, was certainly known for his power, his speed, and the steep angles on his smashes. And struggled to find that form in the last 18 months or so. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Daniel Font, Wales. The umpire just introducing the players left, to the crowd. Peter Kukal, Czech Republic. Daniel Font, to Daniel serve. Font in black, representing Wales. Photos from the camera. Over. Luke Shorts, Peter Kukal of Czech Republic. Decent serve and decent net from both men, and a good smash to the body. Very difficult to defend. Over. This time stick smashes. Kuka looks up to the One, lights. Two. Of course, both players will just take a little bit of time to get used to these conditions. Big arena. Of course, it's Emirates Arena, home of the Commonwealth Games Badminton Tournament during the summer. And with these big arenas, two. you normally get some drift. And it'll be interesting to talk to the players after this first day to see where the drift is actually coming from. 
and normally to deal with drift you need experience and Kukal is certainly the most experienced of these two players. Cross court smash. But then the push Three, into the deep two. forehand corner lacking in accuracy from the Czech number one. Snatchy yeah, smash. Over. That time from Kukau. Three all. Good serve. Good strong defense from Fonten. Turning defense into attack. Good play from the Welshman. Four three. Over. For all. Change in tactic from Kukal serving out wide to Font. Patient build up. Five, four. And the check number one. Both players now matching it point for point. Five minutes gone. Of course, Grand Prix in men's singles. First round is round of 64. So men's singles taking to the court a day before the rest of the competitors. Six, four. And that's three points in a row for Kukal. Change in shuttle required. The little mannerisms of the check number one. New shuttle on the racket always gives a little bounce off the strings. Seven, four. Decent serve, but excellent return from Font, pushing Kukal down into the deep backhand corner. Nice cross court, three quarter smash from the Czech number one. And a good rally from Kukal. Eight, four. Eight four, a good run of points in the serve of Kukal. Five in a row. Service over. And again, you Five, can see Kukal just eight. looking up to the lights. Just losing sight of the shuttle. Just as in the very first rally, the powerful Nine body smash five. for the winner. Nice footwork on the return of serve from Font. Good cross net from the Welshman. And a good play from Fon for sure. Excellent return to start. And then a beautiful Six, cross net nine. setting up the half court lift from Kuka. Easy smash winner for Font. Seven, nine. Important points these for the Welshmen. Stopping that run of five in a row for Kuka. Closing the gap to two. Unforced error that time from Font. 
certainly was Ten, in control of the rally. Seven. Again, Kukal electing to serve out wide. Service over. Eight, ten. There's that body smash again this time. Oh! Ah, sorry. Correction, shot was in. It's time an eight interval. Able to defend and defend well. Overruled from the umpire. Smashed down the line. Line judge signalled out for the umpire overruled. Interval lead 11 8 for Peter Kukal. Certainly, Daniel Font. When he gets in and around the net, the Welshman certainly has the beating of the Czech number one. It was four points in a row when Kukal was leading 8 4. That font Port one, really 20 seconds. Port one, 20 seconds. found his form in and around the net and beating Kukal at the net certainly is an area he's going to have to exploit more. No point giving the Czech number one the opportunity to smash because he puts it down so steep into the body, very difficult to defend. Ten minutes gone, 11 8. Change of shuttle required. 11 8. Play. Again, the body smash, but good positioning this time from Font. Series of clears. N neither man really looking to get on the attack. This time, Kukal says, I've had enough. Goes with the half smash down the backhand 12, side eight. for the winner. Flick serve. Service over. The cross court slice from Kuka. Nine, just 12. failing to find its way over the net. Certainly the right shot to go to. Exposed open forehand side. Oh, Font getting lucky. The crowd certainly appreciated that around 10, 12. the back defensive retrieval shot from Font. Certainly, Kukal didn't expect it to come back. Poor backhand from the Czech number one. 11 12. And Font closes to within one. Three points in a row for the Welshman. Dan, Dan. Well, he's ready. Over. Good combination 11. smash winner from Kukal. Two point advantage, 13 11 for Kukal. 13 minutes gone.
of course reverting here to the traditional 21 three game system we've experimented with the new 5 to 11 over the past number of months and a decision on that likely to come in the next weeks 14 11 Olympic qualification starting in May, of course, so um, any changes and rules will have to be implemented before that Olympic qualification starts. Oh. Faster tempo to that rally from Kukal, 14-11, 15-11, two quick 11. points. Over. Very aggressive return of serve. Well, Font 15. Pushed back into the body of Kukal for the winner. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Smash right down Over. the line. 16 12. And Font really got himself into a promising position. You can see that smash winner plum on the line. Got himself back to within one, trailing 13 12, but it's been all Kukel since. 17 12. Beautiful serve out wide. 18, Switching the attack cross court. Quick points for the check number one. It's just 19, like Font is 12. at a break in concentration. Twenty game point twelve. So game point in just sixteen minutes for Peter Cookout. And the smash into the body. And a scramble defense cross court. And it's Kukal who takes the first game 21 12. And really, the check number one got off to the best start, leading two love. Font getting back into it mid game. And Kukal taking it 21 12. We'll be back with you shortly with the second game. Second game about to get on the way on screen. Daniel Font of Wales yep. trailing Second after game. losing the first game to 12 Play. to Peter Kukal. Nice new haircut for Peter. Nice and tight around the sides. The flowing locks gone from the check number one. And there's that steep angle on the smash from Kukal, but the flat drive Sugar. failing to find one the baseline. Love. Bit of luck for Font. First point of this second game for the Welshman. Flick serve. And then another poor smash from Kuka. Two, Two quick up. points for Daniel Font. <laughs> the push into the body for the Over. winner. One. Two. Apologetic wave of the racket from Kukal to his opponent. Yeah, Font again, just getting a little bit Three, lucky. One. The lift from the Welshman certainly not deep enough, and the smash cross court should have been a winner for Kukal. But Font getting a racket on.
This time, no mistake from Kukal. Service over. Two, three. Cross court. Three off. Flick of the wrist and the stick smash from Kuka. Service over. Four. Kuka three. just having a little look at the umpire. Just questioning whether Font moved before he served. The reality was just too much air on the shuttle and easy for Font to attack. Again, a battle of the clears. Nice cross net. Service over. And in the Four. end, oh. nice aggressive punch clear from Kukal. Forcing Font down the backhand side, and the Welshman unable to get the shuttle cross court across the net for all. Some court maintenance required. Quick towel down for both players. Time to take on some refreshments. Twenty-one minutes gone. Four all in this second game. Kukal won a set to the good after that twenty-one twelve victory in the opening game. Four all. Again that serve out wide from Kukal. Over five four. Service over. And the range he checked number five one. Five all. So tall. You got a good reach, and really, if you want to beat him with a three-quarter smash, you almost have to put it down the line. Kukal in that instance getting a racket on it, pulling it back cross court. Poor shot from Font. Six, five. Remember, if you want to contact us, use the hashtag SOGP on Twitter. We'll be delighted to read out your comments or answer your questions. Six, all. Seven, six. See in the replay. Certainly the lift was only half court and Kukal should have dealt with that much better. Eight, six. Daniel Font just looking for a change of shuttle. Good deception on the return of serve. A shake of the head from Font. Seven, eight. Yeah. Oh, good net for both men. In a cheeky final shot on the rally. Oh. It looked like Kukal. Was going to play sharp net kill. Daniel Fonda backed away from the net, expecting it, but uh, in the end, delicate little net shot again from the big man. Oh! Yeah, relentless attack in that rally from Kukal. Nine eight. Each lift getting shorter from Font. In the end, an easy winner. 
9-8, second game, 21-12, Kukau took the opening game. This time, Service over. Daniel Nine, found wide four. awake to the serve out wide. Good footwork coming around. Out. Service over. Ten, nine. After all the hard work, giving away a free point on his own serve to cook out. Solitary point advantage for the Czech number one. That's a it's good over. smash down the backhand side. Ten, from Font. All. At the left hip of Kuka. Flick serve. Oh, again, good defense from Font. Yeah, good rally from both men in the end. 11, as Kukau takes it, interval. goes to the interval with a solitary lead. Solitary point, 11-10, 25 minutes gone. But certainly the Welshman will feel he's in this, in this second game. Kukau just looking a little bit slow. Daniel Font will certainly have memories of the first game where he did close to within one just shortly after the mid-game interval. And then it was Kukau who slipped into fifth gear and pulled away towards the end to run out a convincing winner in that first game. So certainly if Daniel Font wants to fight his way back into this game, the first few points after this interval crucial for the Welshman. Cook out on screen, you can see the tattoo inside his arm. Okay. Olympic representative, both London and Beijing. 11 10, play. So 11-10. Big points now for Font. Service ah. over. 11 all. Better luck for the Welshman. The winner coming off the frame of his racket. Fault. Service over. Again, a poor serve from Daniel. That's a few 11. poor serves in this game so far. So much air over the net, easy for Kukal to attack. Nice three quarter smash with slice from Font. Good defense from Kukal. 13 11. Opens up a two point advantage again, 13 11. 28 minutes gone. Oh, nice soft touch at the net. Really has fun scampering all over the court. And then the misjudgment from the check. Number one. 12, 13. Error certainly from Kukau. Had fun in all four corners of the court, and then a misjudgment. Better smash that time, cross court from Kukal. A rusty stick smash. 14, 12. Pinpoint accuracy down the line from Daniel Font. 14. Service 
service over. 15, 13. Kuka just maintaining this two point advantage. 15, 13, half an hour. One set to the good. It's the check number one in control at the moment. And really is getting to a do or die point now for Font. Can't afford to go much further behind. And there's another 16, silly return of serve. 13. Two quick points for Kukal and uh, Fon just seems to suffer from breaks in concentration at the crucial oh. points in games. But this time the smash cross court 14, much better from the Welshman. 16. The shuttle just catching the top of the net. Good concentration from Font to get it back. Good rally from the Welshman. Nice steep angle again from Cookout. Around the head, cross court drop from Font. Yeah, in the end, that lift down the forehand side way too short. And a blink of an eye, Cookout smashes it for a winner. Three point advantage. Every point now, a must-win point for the Welshman. Service over. 15-17. Sixteen, seventeen. Shuttle down. Sixteen, seventeen. You would feel that Font really must win this point and put some pressure on Kuka. Better serve this time from Font. Oh, and the flat Silver. push right down the middle, landing 18, out. 16. The backhand smash. Silver. Well outside the tram line. 17, 18. Huh. 18 all. So 18 all, and this is the crucial point now for Daniel Font. Three times that's out. Three times during the course 19, of this match, he's draw, drawn even, but unable to keep the momentum going. And uh, beautiful backhand from Font. Again, taking Kukal on at the net. Oh, nice awareness and a string Silver. gone. Unlucky for Font. 19 all. Certainly didn't hear the string going from our commentary position. And I don't think Daniel Font realized it either. If he did, he would have put up a high lift or a clear, enticing Kukal into smashes with a broken string. And as to do in badminton when you get a change of racket. 
play her requests. Just a short rally bash up, just to test the strings and get a feel for the new racket. A lot of these players playing with extreme tensions in excess of 13 kilograms. Peter. So any mistimed shot certainly will break a string or break a frame. Good defense, a super net from both players. Again, Daniel Font force a scamper and pirouette and drag it cross court. 20, match point 19. It's a match point for the Scott or for the check number one. You can see him watching that all the way well out. 35 minutes on the game clock. Nice return from Font. Oh, super net spin, and equally in. good from Kukal. And in the end, finding the space in behind Font for the winner, a shake of the head from the Welshman. A good control from Kukal to take the match in two. 21-12, 21-19 in 35 minutes. We'll be taking a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back momentarily with further live coverage from the Scottish Open Grand Prix next on court. We fourth seed Vila Lang against Swedish number two, Gabriel Uldal.